The title of this presentation is Dream No Small Dreams, a description of how a passion of mine and those of others have combined to create something unique and special, the Great Chesapeake Bay Schooner Race. Into everyone's life come individuals who inspire, drive, and help you along your way. These people can be relatives, notables in their fields, co-workers, or people who cross your path seemingly randomly. Over the years, I've pursued a career in sailing that has taken me around the world. I've been inspired by my uncle, Art Burney, his son, Lex, and my mother, Bitsy, who instilled in me a sense of fun, adventure, and kindness. As a child, I was drawn to the sea and the distant horizon. I wanted to know what lay over that horizon, what people I'd meet, and what adventures might lie waiting. I was drawn to schooners. Schooners are an older style of sailing vessels which have played a large part in the history of our country as privateers, blockade runners, and engines of financial expansion. Today, few schooners survive. However, there is a special group of people drawn to the majesty of a ship under a cloud of sail and the pull on the helm as a fine breeze scuds you along. When you're sailing schooners, there's an element of beauty and an equal element of impending doom. These boats can be cantankerous, and breakdowns are always an unwelcome possibility. Captains and crew need to be resourceful to keep their boats underway. A Dream In 1988, Pride of Baltimore II was launched as a goodwill ambassador for the state of Maryland. Pride II sails the world providing young crew members experiences and challenges that have shaped the rest of their lives. Another Dream Captain Lane Briggs, a tugboat captain from Norfolk, realized that the history of our Chesapeake Bay waters was being forgotten, and he set about to change that. Lane had converted his small, personal tugboat, Norfolk Rebel, into a schooner, by adding two masts to a boat that was never meant to be sailed. A late-night barroom challenge to the captain of Pride of Baltimore II created our race 30 years ago. Since 1990, I've sailed on Art's boat, Adventurer. Over the years, we have raced in all sorts of weather with close to 50 different crew members. Each time, it's been a challenge and great fun. In Baltimore, a day or so before the race, Schooners offer tours and educational programming. The evening before the race is the Parade of Sail, a great excuse to strut your stuff and blow off cannons. The race is 127 miles straight down the bay in a no-holds-barred competition. This is a handicap race, meaning that boats are rated against each other with a time system meant to even everyone's chances for glory. 127 miles at 6 to 9 knots means an overnight sail dodging ships, weather fronts, and the problematic crossing of the Potomac River, that great divider between Maryland and Virginia. At the start of the race, we jockey for position along with up to 35 other boats, waiting for the starting cannon. Jockeying all that tonnage is a bit like trying to make elephants dance. As dawn breaks, the schooners stretch their legs for the finish line, awards party, and significant others. After a day of rest and repairs, the boats are opened up to school kids and the public, closely followed by festivities. The race and the love that keeps all these vessels afloat is a testament to the vision, imagination, and focus of people who want to keep a beautiful and significant part of America's past alive. Our race was founded to promote public awareness of the Chesapeake Bay's maritime heritage and encourage the preservation and improvement of the Chesapeake's natural resources. Net funds are donated to local organizations who share our goals. To date, that's over $200,000. As I close, I would like to challenge you to think about who has influenced your lives, who has inspired your choices, who can you inspire? 
The pursuit of dreams has real and positive consequences, and these consequences can and do make our world a fuller and better place. Giving people real experiences can change their lives. In my life, I've been given amazing opportunities, and I try to give back as I have been given too. I'll finish with a quote from Van Gogh. Dream no small dreams, for they have no power to move the hearts of men. The southern wind sings again another lullaby.